What up, players? It's Wallboss Tay up in this mode. Today we're making a video, part one, base coats and shades on how to paint a plague zombie in a Frankensteinish green kind of uh, paint scheme. Usually I don't like to paint this kind of green style of skin. I like to keep my models looking fairly more warm with the skin tones being more warm and pink, but um, this was a request by one of my viewers and I figured since it's Halloween, uh, month spooky tober fest we're knee deep into it that this would be a fun little side thing that I'm doing so hope you guys enjoy and um, stay tuned for part two it part two is gonna make it look a little bit more closer to human right now I'm just trying to experiment with the green tones it kind of looks like a, like a little incredible Hulk almost um, but we'll make him look a little bit more human in part two do some scarring and, and blood and and pus and all that stuff and yeah, stay tuned, stick around for that. Right, players, we're gonna paint up a Chaos Cultist as a plague zombie. This is a special troop you unlock if you take Typhus with you. So, the way we're gonna do this is we are going to paint him up in a very pale skin color, a uh, green skin color. So we're gonna start with Death World Forest. Now this tutorial is also for anyone who might be interested in painting zombies in this um, green gangrenous color scheme. As you can see, I'm being very, uh, let's say, liberal with the paint. Just getting it to cover the entire surface of the skin. He's got a lot of this particular cultist in the Dark Vengeance box set. I'm also planning to paint as a corn or world eaters. Uh, in that skin or color scheme, but this first one is a uh, tutorial that some people have been asking for, and specifically one of my viewers asked for a Frankenstein skin color, and I figured that would be quite appropriate because I was just in the musical Young Frankenstein, and I've had to look at my co-star who was made up as the creature every single night, so I've kind of picked up a little bit on his skin tone. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to paint the pants in a dark brown to emphasize the uh, plague, the dirty plague. So we're going to use Steel Legion Drab. <clears throat> we're just painting the pants. If you've been following my Chaos Cultist in the Nurgle scheme, then this guy will fit right in. Kind of looks like a little, little version of the Hulk right now. Thins while that dries, so we're gonna use lead belcher for the knife. <clears throat> as well as the auto pistol. If you're just watching this for the the skin tone. Part, then this is when you'd be painting the rest of the clothes. Like if you're doing a 
zombie for Warhammer Fantasy, then this is the point where you would let the skin dry by painting other parts of the model. Okay, we're gonna use a little Balthazar gold on the chaos icon, the handle of the knife, and the uh, little piece of the front of the auto pistol. So besides <clears throat> um, painting and wargaming, I'm also an avid video game player out there. And this week I've been playing a lot of, well I guess you could only say one of the, the new Walking Dead act adventure game from Telltale Games came out with their episode 4 a little while ago, but I haven't had a chance to really get through it till this week. So I was checking out a little bit of the new Dishonored game. <laughs> Both of these games are really fantastic and I highly recommend them. there so we're gonna go back in with lead belcher and just slap that on We are going to paint some Chaos Black, or Abaddon Black, whichever black you have. Onto the boot covers here.
crazy parrots. Okay, we've got a little bit more before we can get to the um, zombie skin. We're gonna paint the boots Morn Fang Brown. So you can see this guy is starting to be very similar to my other Chaos Cultist that I painted in a Nurgle color scheme. And that's in case I want to use them in the same squad. So if you follow that chaos or that, that tutorial, then you're gonna be seeing a very similar looking guy. If not, if any of this you want to change, then feel free. thing we're gonna do is paint the belt and the belt to match our little Greedo guy here we're gonna paint in black so chaos black or abdon black whichever black you like So yeah, what was I talking about? The Walking Dead video game. Oh, it's so good. I wasn't really expecting much, so I didn't order the whole season pass when it first came out. But I played the first episode, and there are five episodes. Each one comes out like every other month or something like that. And after playing through the first episode, I just like... It was so good. It's all about the storytelling, you know? mowing down hordes of zombies, you're actually spending a lot of your time getting to know the characters, trying to survive in the zombie apocalypse world, and it's just really good, really good storytelling, really good writing, voice acting, top notch, the main character and whoever they got to play the girl, Clementine, this little girl, young girl so good so heartbreaking so definitely check it out if you have ps3 or xbox or any way to get the walking dead video game i highly highly recommend it so now the skin is dried we're gonna paint nurgling green we're gonna be really light so um don't don't freak out guys don't freak out it's gonna be pretty light so if you want in fact I highly suggest it either thinning down the paints with water using a wet palette or just wiping a lot of the paint off on onto a napkin <clears throat> so that when you're painting it onto the skin it um, doesn't clump up And when I, whenever I have to paint with a very bright or light colored highlight like this, I like to use a lot of short strokes rather than slapping the paint on and spreading it around. It's a 
the technique I do mostly with highlight colors. I wouldn't do this with a base color. With a base color, the, the goal is just to get, get the color on as quick as possible. But now we're starting to put these highlight colors on. We don't want it to get on too thick. Kind of, Nurgling Green is very reminiscent of the old, um, I don't say old, but the current Games Workshop uh, ghouls for fantasy vampire counts. Very pale, pallid sort of green. It's the color I should be, Master. That's right, Igor. the color you would be if I worked at Games Workshop. But I'm glad you don't, Master. I don't care for it too much. I like my, f my fleshy color, s color scheme. That's good to know, Igor. That's good to know. You know what else I like? What else do you like, Igor? I like cats. Well, actually that's pretty, that's pretty obvious. I think most people who've been watching these videos know that you, you love cats. I love them. They're so soft and furry. And they're so cute and adorable. There's nothing I like more than snuggling up with a nice, soft pussycat on a Sunday afternoon. What about if I can interject something? No, you may not. And when do you ever snuggle up with cats on a Sunday, lazy Sunday afternoon, Igor? When do you ever snuggle up with a cat on a Sunday afternoon? Not before I put it in the oven. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. All right, we're gonna let this dry. We're gonna come back, do a little bit of um, a little bit of washes. Before we do, I just saw he's got some armbands, so let's paint that in XV88. A little flash of of that brown color again. So like all Nurgle troops, lots of browns, sickly greens, really putrid, decaying colors. Speaking of Walking Dead, I'm using a lot of The Walking Dead as uh, inspiration for my color schemes. This, not this one, but if I was to do another one, then I would paint it with a very grayish um, kind of skin tone. This is specifically meant to make the guy look like a Frankenstein monster. So that's what we're going for here. But yeah, if I was to do another zombie model, I would probably make him look more gray skinned, ashen, ashen skinned. So we're gonna let this dry for a little while. We're gonna come back, we're gonna do some washes. Then we're gonna hit all the details, like all the little implants and give him some gore effects. And then we should be finished. Stay tuned, players. Okay, so we are going to paint some Agrax Earthshade. If I can find it, where I put it? There we go. Agrax Earthshade all over the model. Mix 
except for the green skin, so just the bottom half, really, and the weapon. Waywatcher Green has on the model. <clears throat> so the first time I'm using it, so pop it open. And the glaze is different from a shade because it's much, I guess, more thinned down or watered down. It's very uh, toxic Avenger ish. So I think it's cute, it's nice. Uh, it's definitely not a shade though, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this glaze on and we're gonna add, gonna add a shade. Also, I found some Coelia green shade. Oh, thank you, Igor. That would work. Ooh, yeah, it's real dark. Kind of like it. You don't want to add too much on there. You want to make sure that when you put it on and it dries, it's not going to leave any watermarks. It's not going to pool in the pool in the resources, as they say. part of the video so thanks for watching everybody stay tuned for that in fact I think there's a little bit more we can do right now before we go let's paint some rune lord brass onto the gold sections so like here the part of the pistol Yeah, most of the model is still wet, so we should probably wait. So, we'll come back in part two. We'll get on to the highlights. And we will have our Plague Zombie all painted up, ready for, uh, ready for fighting. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.